An arenavirus is a virus which is a member of the family Arenaviridae. These viruses infect rodents and occasionally humans. Arenaviruses have also been discovered which infect snakes. At least eight arenaviruses are known to cause human disease. The diseases derived from arenaviruses range in severity. Aseptic meningitis, who a severe human disease that causes inflammation covering the brain and spinal cord, can arise from the lymphocytic choriomeningitis virus infection. Hemorrhagic fever syndromes are derived from infections such as Guanarito virus, Janine virus, Lassa virus, Luyo virus, Makupo virus, Sabi virus or whitewater arroyo virus. Arenaviruses are divided into two groups, the Old World and the New World viruses. The differences between these groups are distinguished geographically and genetically. Because of the epidemiological association with rodents, some arenaviruses and bunyaviruses are designated as roboviruses. Structure Viewed in cross-section, arenaviruses contain grainy particles that are ribosomes acquired from the host cell. It is from this characteristic that they acquired the name arena, from the Latin root meaning sand. The ribosomal structures are not believed to be essential for virus replication. Virus particles, or variants, appear morphic but are often spherical, with a diameter of 60 to 300 nanometers, and are covered with surface glycoprotein spikes. The virus contains a beaded nucleocapsid with two single-stranded RNA segments. The nucleocapsid consists of a core of nucleic acid enclosed in a protein coat. Although they are often miscategorized as negative sense viruses, arenaviruses are ambisense. This confusion stems from the fact that while sections of the genome are considered negative sense and encode genes in the reverse direction, other sections encode genes in the opposite direction. This complex gene expression structure is theorized to be a primitive regulatory system, allowing the virus to control what proteins are synthesized at what point in the life cycle. The life cycle of the arena virus is restricted to the cell cytoplasm. Taxonomy Within the family Arenaviridae, arenaviruses were formerly all placed in the genus Arenavirus, but were recently reclassified into the genera Mammarinavirus for those with mammalian hosts and Reptrinavirus for those infecting snakes. Arenaviruses can be divided into two serogroups, which differ genetically and by geographical distribution. When the virus is classified Old World, this means it was found in the East. Eastern Hemisphere in places such as Europe, Asia and Africa. When it is found in the Western Hemisphere in places such as Argentina, Bolivia, Venezuela, Brazil and the United States, it is classified New World. Lymphocytic choriomeningitis virus is the only arena virus to exist in both areas but is classified as an Old World virus. A third group of virus has been described from snakes. The organization of the genome is typical of arenaviruses but the glycoproteins resemble those of filoviruses. LCMV Lassa virus complex. Tacri Bay virus complex. Snake species. Genome. Arenaviruses have a segmented RNA genome that consists of two single-stranded ambisense RNAs. As with all negative sense RNA viruses, the genomic RNA alone is not infectious and the viral replication machinery is required to initiate infection within a host cell. Genomic sense RNA packaged into the arenavirus virion is designated negative sense RNA and must first be copied into a positive sense mRNA in order to produce viral protein. The two RNA segments are denoted small and large, and code for four viral proteins in a unique ambisense coding strategy. Each RNA segment codes for two viral proteins in opposite orientation such that the negative sense RNA genome serves as the template for 
transcription of a single mRNA and the positive sense copy of the RNA genome templates a second mRNA. The separate coding sequences of the two viral proteins are divided by an intergenic region RNA sequence that is predicted to fold into a stable, hairpin structure. The extreme termini of each RNA segment contains a 19 nucleotide highly conserved sequence that is critical for recruitment of the viral replication, machinery and initiation of viral mRNA transcription and genomic replication. The conserved 5 feet and 3 feet RNA termini sequences are complementary and allows each RNA segment to adopt a double-stranded RNA panhandle structure that maintains the termini in close proximity and results in a circular appearance to purified arena virus genomic templates visualized by electron microscopy. The double-stranded RNA panhandle structure is critical for efficient viral RNA synthesis, but potential intertermini double-stranded RNA interactions must be transiently relieved in order to recruit the viral polymerase. The S-segment RNA is approximately 3.5 kilobits and encodes the viral nucleocapsid protein and glycoprotein. The L-segment RNA is approximately 7.2 kilobits and encodes the viral RNA-dependent RNA polymerase in a small ring domain containing protein. The Z protein forms homooligomers and a structural component of the variants. The formation of these oligomers is an essential step for particle assembly and budding. Binding between Z and the viral envelope glycoprotein complex is required for variant infectivity. Z also interacts with the L and NP proteins. Polymerase activity appears to be modulated by the association between the L and Z proteins. Interaction between the Z and NP proteins is critical for genome packaging. Molecular biology. The glycoprotein is synthesized as a precursor molecule. It is cleaved into three parts, GP1, GP2 and a stable signal peptide. These reactions are catalyzed by cellular signal peptides and the cellular enzyme subtilisin kexin ISOZYME1 site 1 protease. These processes are essential for fusion competence and incorporation of mature GP into nascent budding virion particles. Reservoirs some marine viruses, zoonotic pathogens, and are generally associated with rodent transmitted disease in humans. Each virus usually is associated with a particular rodent host species in which it is maintained. Arena viruses persist in nature by infecting rodents first and then transmitted into humans. Humans can be infected through mucosal exposure to aerosols or by direct contact of a braided skin with the infectious material derived from infected rodents. Aerosols are fine mists or sprays of rodent-dried excreta, especially urine that is dropped in the environment. Most of the arena viruses caught by humans are within their own homes. When these rodents seek shelter, the virus can be caught in factories from food that has been contaminated or within agricultural work areas. The risk of getting the arena virus infection for humans is related to age, race or sex within the degree of contact with the dried rodent excreta. Epidemiology Vectors clinical diseases LCM viruses cause influenza-like febrile illness, but occasionally they may cause meningitis, characteristically accompanied by large numbers of lymphocytes in the CSF. Lassa fever virus causes Lassa fever. Lassa fever is endemic in West Africa. The virus was first isolated from Americans stationed in the village of Lhasa, Nigeria. The virus can be transmitted person to person. Subclinical diseases. Serological studies suggest that in apparent infections particularly among members of hunting tribes are common. 
clinical infections. Lassa fever is characterized by high fever, severe myalgia, coagulopathy, hemorrhagic skin rash, and occasional visceral hemorrhage as well as necrosis of liver and spleen. Other arena viruses like genine virus, macupovirus cause hemorrhagic fevers. Dot. All of these diseases pose a great threat to public health in the regions where it is taking place. For example, when the old world Lassa virus turns into Lassa fever, this usually results in a significant amount of mortality. Similarly the new world Genine virus causes Argentine hemorrhagic fever. This fever is a several illness with hemorrhagic and neurological manifestations and a case fatality of 15 to 30. 30%. The way this virus spreads is through increased traveling to and from endemic regions. This traveling has led to the importation of Lassa fever into non-endemic metropolitan areas all over the world. Recent outbreaks. A new species of arena virus named the Luyo virus has been linked to five patients who exhibited symptoms of viral hemorrhagic fever in South Africa. The disease originated near Lusaka, Zambia and spread to Johannesburg, South Africa after the first patient was transported to a hospital there. The results of genetic sequencing tests conducted by epidemiologists at Columbia Columbia University in New York City, USA, and at the Special Pathogens Branch of the Centers for Disease Control in Atlanta, USA, provided evidence that the causative agent of the disease is a virus from the arena viridae family, which ultimately resulted in the deaths of four out of the five infected in Zambia and South Africa during the outbreak which began in September, 2008. Arena virus has also recently pinpointed as the cause of death of three donor organ recipients in Australia who contracted the virus after receiving kidney and a liver donations from a single infected organ donor in late 2006. All three died in the first week of 2007, who are in its global outbreak alert and response network partners continue to support the ministries of health of the two countries in various facets of the outbreak investigation, including laboratory diagnosis, investigations, active case finding and follow-up of contact treatments this virus can be very devastating yet there are very few treatment methods available the current lack of a licensed vaccine and limited therapeutic options for the arena virus make it arguably among the most neglected virus to be dealt with the only licensed drug for the treatment of human arena virus infection is the nucleoside analog ribavirin ribavirin reduces morbidity and mortality in humans who have certain arena viruses, such as LASV and JUNV infections, if it is taken in the early stages of the disease, ribavirin displays mixed success in treating severe arena viral disease and is associated with significant toxicities. Effective antiviral drugs need to be produced at a low cost, taken orally, and able to withstand tropical climates due to the regions where these infections are occurring. For this reason high throughput screening of small molecular libraries could be the answer to finding a better remedy. HTS collects libraries of small synthetic molecules that can be used to identify protein promoting agonist molecules of protein inhibiting antagonist interactions. With HTS sustainable antiviral drugs can be discovered against possible new human pathogenic viruses.